Hey my friends, it's Tom with Watchin' River. Welcome to Time is Short, let's pray. Let's go to Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence he shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful psalm. I love that psalm. So most of you know that on Sundays we do something different here. Uh, we don't cover the news or talk about anything but prayer. Because what we do here on Sunday is we lift up each other in prayer. And most of us believe we are on the cusp of the rapture of the church. We know we're in the season. And we have friends and loved ones and co-workers that we're concerned about. So on Sunday, we use the comment section below the video and we list the name of the people that don't know the Lord in our lives. You can also use it for personal prayer request, whatever you need. Um, and then I always ask when you put the names of people below the video, don't just leave, you know, look at other comments and reply to them and let them know you prayed for them. Because that's quite a feeling when you know a brother or sister in Christ is praying for you that you've never met. You know, it's beautiful. So that's what we do on Sunday. We've done it for a long time and we're going to do it until the first Sunday that we're not here. And many, many lives have been changed. It's been an amazing journey. And, um, you know, God stores our prayers. That Which blows my mind, by the way. But he stores our prayers. And uh, so let's do this. I'm going to say a prayer before I sign off for um, everyone who's listed below. And then we'll get busy, okay? <clears throat> Father, we love you. Because you are the perfect God. You are the only God, the most high God. Please again, let me forget that there's a camera in front of me, Lord. I lift up every name that will be listed below. I lift them up to you, Lord. You don't want anyone to perish, but for everyone to come to repentance, for everyone to know the amazing gospel, the good news that you sent your only begotten son to pay for our sins with his blood. And we know these are late days, Lord. We know, we know that we're in this season. We know that sometime very soon you're going to say, son, go get your bride. And we're ready. We're ready. But we have these loved ones that it tugs at our heart because we don't want them left behind. We don't want them to not know you and what you've done for them. It's so amazing. So can we ask you, please, to soften hearts? Can we ask you to draw them by your spirit? all we can ask. The 
That's all we can ask. That's what we ask. We can't wait to be face to face with you. We can't wait to worship your name forever and ever. And we say these things in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. Okay, guys. So let's get busy. I don't know how many more weeks we'll be here doing this. I've told you before, I have thought every week, will this be the last week? The world has gone completely bonkers, but we know who's in charge. The one with a plan, the only one with a plan, the most high God. So we're going to do this until the first Sunday we're not here. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm hoping for the rapture today. If we're, but if we're not raptured today, don't worry because we're one day closer. <clears throat> and God willing, I will. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys.